Alright guys, I thought I'd do a quick video on merging two lines. Uh, this is a SOLIDWORKS quick tip. And so what we'll be discussing is this brace I just added right here. And you know, I'm just doing a study here of um, uh, mock ATV frame um, because I'll be doing one here in the near future. And so I'm kind of working through the methodology, you know, what kind of flow I want to have as I'm working with tubing. And I decided I don't like this bent tube here. And, you know, I wasn't going to do a miter anyways. I would have done a bent tube, but I'm just doing some mock-ups. And so I want to change this over to a straight piece of tubing. So this SolidWorks quick tip is about how to merge two lines in a sketch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that sketch right there. We're going to um, actually open that sketch. And right now it's a 3D sketch that's uh, mirrored around the center plane in uh, 2016 which is what I'm in you can't actually do the mirroring yet that was in 2018 they added that so you have to actually pick the two lines in your mirroring plane and mirror it across and that doesn't actually constrain the endpoints and so you'll have to get used to that but what we want to do is we want to turn this into a straight piece of tubing from that angled tube so what we're going to do is we're going to make these coplanar there's conditions where this doesn't work you'll have to experiment around with why it doesn't and when it doesn't, if they're in points, it won't work. You can't merge the lines. But in this case, um, it will work. So what I'm going to do is make these collinear. And then I'm going to pick that center point there. And I'm going to hit delete. And you can see that it's actually one solid line now. And if I go back in and pick OK, you'll see that it's actually a straight piece of tubing now from that kind of hip tubing we had there now. The um, you can also see that the um, uh, features messed up because it doesn't know what happened to one of its picks. One of the original tubes is gone, so we'll just open the feature and then OK it, and that'll go away because it's no longer part of the selection set. We'll go ahead and we'll hide that center plane and we'll hide the sketch, and you can see that that's now one piece of tubing. Um, so that works in a number of instances and like I said if it's an endpoint it won't necessarily work you'll have to experiment around with when and why it works you're always required however to make the two lines collinear to get rid of the point so I hope that helps somebody out there and I'll talk to you guys later